Hiya, strawberry fluff salad. This is my take on the orange fluff salad. We did a little twist though, strawberries and strawberry jello, and guys, it's really, really good. I think you're gonna have fun making it, and it's something that would be really fun to make with the kiddos. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Tabby. Let's get cooking. All right, guys, I know you have seen this orange fluff salad. It's a pretty common salad in the Midwest, very similar to the mandarin orange salad that I made at one time on a video. Um, but this one's a little bit different. It has cottage cheese. And I had a follower actually send me a message and say, hey, this is just like ours, but we use cottage cheese in it. So I was thinking today, why do we have to do it with mandarin orange? Let's do it with strawberries. I had some extra strawberries. So I thought, let's give it a try. So I'm calling this the strawberry fluff salad. So this is what we're gonna do. We're, we've got a 16 ounce tub of cottage cheese. So we're gonna put all of that in. All right, we've got that in our bowl. Now I'm gonna add to that a six ounce box of the strawberry jello instead of the orange. So we're gonna do the strawberry. Let's put that whole box in. Give that a good stir. Get that strawberry jello mixed in with that cottage cheese. All right, there we go. But to that, we're gonna add about a, a cup, maybe a little less than a cup of crushed pineapple. And I did drain it. So there's probably a little bit of juice there, but not too much. And then to that, we're gonna go ahead and add our diced or chopped strawberries. And I did just right add a pound of strawberries. Okay, so there's our strawberries and our pineapples. We're gonna give that a little toss. smelling delicious already. <laughs> now we have a new neighbor that just moved in down the road. So I'm actually going to put some of this in a little bowl and take it to them as a little welcome to the neighborhood gift. Now we're gonna do some miniature marshmallows. About a cup or so I'm gonna measure with my heart. And the last thing is the eight ounce tub of Cool Whip. You wanna make sure your bowl is big enough to get all of this in there. Now we're gonna give this a good mix. I'm thinking this would be a perfect dish or dessert to make for a little girl's baby shower. It's such a beautiful shade of pink. I think that would be so pretty. So you just want to mix that up. Make sure you get all of that off the bottom and bring it to the top. So you want to make sure you get all of that jello incorporated with the cottage cheese and the Cool Whip. And there you have it. Some strawberry fluff salad. Let's get a spoon and get a taste. All right, got the sides of my bowl all cleaned up. I'm kind of funny about that. I like the sides of my bowl, the rim. I like for it to be nice and clean. All right, let's give this a taste. Gosh, it looks and smells amazing. Let's get some marshmallow and some strawberry. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? It's so fluffy. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Amen. Mmm. Wow, that's good. It's not too sweet. The cottage cheese kind of brings that sweet factor down a little and you get some extra protein with it, but you've got the marshmallow. Definitely can taste the strawberry. That extra little fresh strawberry gives it a little pop. And then I got a little flavor from the pineapple also. It almost tastes a little tropical. I think you might even be able to put some coconut in it. I think coconut would be good in there too. There you go, guys. Strawberry fluff salad. That's my take on the orange fluff salad that's very popular here in the Midwest. And I think you guys are gonna like it. It was fun to put together. This is a good one to make with the kiddos. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. There's my little purple bowl. It's a little, just a little plastic bowl. I'm gonna fill that up and take it to our neighbors, our new neighbors. All right, guys, I love you so much. God loves you even more than I do. Please don't forget that. Remember, if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, make sure you like, comment, share, do all the things. That helps me so much, but it really helps inspire others to get in the kitchen and have some fun. And that's really what it's all about, just inspiring the next generation, just to get in the kitchen and have some fun, make something new.
this recipe and all my other recipes you can find on my website in thekitchenwithtabby.com and you will also find a link to that recipe on Facebook. It will be right underneath this post in the comments. On YouTube it will be right underneath this video in the full description so click on more and you'll see the link to the recipe there on my website. Remember while you're there to sign up for my newsletter, Tidbits from In the Kitchen with Tabby. I send that out every so often, just something kind of fun. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.